Welcome to the screencast on model drawing for third grade. Model drawing, or bar modeling as it's also called, is the Singapore math strategy that is getting students excited about solving word problems. Before watching this video tutorial, I recommend that you first watch the model drawing video for second grade, as it is an introduction to bar modeling. The second grade video can be found in the second grade folder on the same website where you found this video. This is the web address. This video will focus on model drawing with multiplication and division. Here is our first problem. Ryan has four times as many marbles as Jordan. If they had 60 marbles all together, how many marbles did Ryan have? First, I will write out my problem statement before I forget about it. It's a good reminder for keeping me focused on the piece I'm trying to solve. Since we need to know how many marbles Ryan had, my problem statement will be, Ryan had blank marbles. Now I will identify the who and the what. I see that Ryan has four times as many marbles as Jordan, and they had 60 marbles altogether. Now I'm ready to draw my unit bars based on what I know and what I need to find out. As a reminder, my bar model might not look like my neighbor's bar model. It's important for us to remember as parents and teachers that the bar model a student draws should make sense to that student. With multiplication, we want to start everyone out with the same size unit piece and then adjust from that starting point. So I will give Ryan and Jordan each one unit. Now looking at the problem again, I see that Ryan has four times as many marbles as Jordan, so I need to make sure he has four times as many unit bars as Jordan does. So I will give him three more unit bars. A very common mistake that students make with this type of problem is to give Ryan four more unit bars. However, in doing that, Ryan would have five times as many units as Jordan. In order to not make that mistake, count each unit bar as they are put down. The first unit bar is one time as many, the second is two times as many, the third is three times as many, and the fourth is four times as many. I want to write a question mark for the piece that I need to find out. Since we need to know how many marbles Ryan had, that is where my question mark will go. I also know that they have 60 marbles all together, so I went ahead and wrote that. Now, can you see from this model what our next step should be? We need to figure out how many marbles are in each unit bar. Since we have five unit bars all together and 60 marbles, this now becomes a division problem. 60 divided by 5 is equals 12. Now I will write 12 in each unit bar. Focusing again on what the problem is asking us to do, we need to find out how many marbles Ryan had. So we will now multiply 12 times the four pieces Ryan had, and 12 times 4 equals 48. Ryan had 48 marbles. This next problem is similar. Alice has 35 rabbits. She has five times as many rabbits as chickens. How many chickens does Alice have? Given what we know about rabbits and how quickly they multiply, I'm worried that Alice is going to have an exponentially larger problem very soon if she doesn't take drastic measures and fast. Back to the problem though. What do you think our problem statement should be? Since we need to know how many chickens Alice has, my problem statement will be Alice has blank chickens. Now I will identify the who and the what. I see that Alice has 35 rabbits and five times as many rabbits as chickens. Now I'm ready to draw my unit bars based on what I know and what I need to find out. I will first start with one equal size unit bar each for rabbits and chickens, and then adjust from there. Now looking at the problem again, I see that Alice has five times as many rabbits as chickens, so I need to make sure there are five times as many unit bars for rabbits than chickens, so I will add four more unit bars to rabbits. Now I can write down what I know, which is that Alice has 35 rabbits. I also want to write a question mark for the piece that I need to find out. Since we need to know how many chickens Alice has, that is where my question mark will go. Now, can you see from this model what our next step should be? Since we know that there are 35 rabbits and there are five unit bars representing rabbits, our problem becomes 35 divided by five, which is seven. Therefore, each unit bar represents seven animals. And since there's only one unit bar for chickens, one times seven equals seven chickens. Alice has seven chickens. Let's look at another problem. Monica had three times as many pens as Griffin. If they had 220 pens altogether, how many pens did Monica have? What do you think my problem statement should be? I wrote Monica had blank pens. Now to identify the who and the what, 
Monica had three times as many pens as Griffin, and they had 220 pens altogether. I'll first start with equal size unit bars for Monica and Griffin. Since the problem tells me that Monica had three times as many pens as Griffin, I'll add two more unit bars to hers. I'm ready now to fill in my question mark. We need to know how many pens Monica had, so that's where my question mark goes. Also, the problem tells us that Monica and Griffin had 220 pens altogether, so I drew brackets to indicate that. Can you see from the model what the next step should be? We need to find out how many pens each unit represents. Since there are four unit bars total and 220 pens altogether, I should divide 220 by 4, which is 55. If each unit bar represents 55 pens and Monica has three unit bars, then 55 times 3 equals 165. Monica had 165 pens. Now we're ready to move on to some division problems. These problems are what we call part-whole division problems because they are made up of a part and a whole. This problem reads, 28 chairs are arranged equally in four rows. How many chairs are there in each row? For my problem statement, I wrote there are blank chairs in each row. The what to identify in this problem is 28 chairs arranged equally in four rows. I can model this particular problem with just one bar to represent 28 chairs. Since the problem tells me that the chairs are arranged equally in four rows, I can divide my bar into four pieces. Now that I've modeled the problem, can you see that we can solve this problem with the division problem 28 divided by 4, which equals 7? Each unit bar represents 7 chairs, so our answer is there are 7 chairs in each row. This problem is very similar to the one we just finished. If 18 cookies are arranged equally in 6 piles, how many cookies are in each pile? Here's my problem statement. I've identified the who and the what. Again, this problem can be modeled with just one unit bar to represent 18 cookies. Now I will divide the 18 cookies into six piles. As you can see, we need to find out how many cookies are in each pile. So my problem becomes 18 divided by six, which is three. There are three cookies in each pile. Let's look at a problem that's a little more complicated. Mike had three times as much money as Steve. Dick had two times as much money as Steve. If Dick had $98, how much money did Mike have? Before being introduced to model drawing, many students would shut down when faced with this type of problem. With model drawing, they now have a tool to help them work through the problem and solve it successfully. My problem statement is going to be pretty simple. Mike had blank dollars. I'll identify the who and the what. Mike had three times as much money as Steve. Dick had two times as much money as Steve and Dick had $98. Like before, I'll start this problem giving each of them an equal sized unit bar. Now I'll go back and adjust my unit bars. Since we are told that Mike had three times as much money as Steve, I will add two more unit bars onto Mike's unit bar. We are also told that Dick had two times as much money as Steve, so I'll, I will add another unit bar to Dick's unit bar. Finally, we are told that Dick had $98, and we are asked to find out how much money Mike had. So I will add a question mark at the end of Mike's unit bar. Now, look at the model drawing. What do you think we should do first? We need to find out how much money each unit bar represents first, right? Let's use what we know to break it down. We know that Dick had $98 and he has two unit bars, so that means two units equals $98. If two units equals $98, how much does one unit equal? That's right, 98 divided by two equals $49. Now I can fill in $49 for each unit. Can you see what our next step is? I need to find out how much money Mike had, and he has three units. So three times 49 equals 147. Mike had $147. Here's the last problem, and it's just like the last one. I'd like you to pause the video and solve it on your own. When you are finished, start the video and check your answer. What did you write for your sentence statement? Did you remember to identify the who and the what? Did you start out with equal sized unit bars? Did you adjust your unit bars like this? Did you remember to add your question mark? Did you find that since three units equals 36, that means one unit equals 12? 
Did you find that Trina had 24 vacation days? This concludes the third grade model drawing video. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Singapore math strategy of model drawing. I hope you will find these strategies to be valuable. It's just good math.